Hi folks, welcome back. We're here at uh, late July afternoon on the east side of Las Vegas. I'm not sure if you can make it out, but uh, there in the distance, zoom into that, and there is downtown Las Vegas and Fremont Street. You see the D there on the side of the D Hotel and Casino, as well as Circa. And then looking on over here, there is the main strip, Las Vegas Strip, which will disappear out of view as we go lower in elevation. Today we're going to travel through some of the most worst neighborhoods in uh, all of Las Vegas, certainly. Um, and they're not even in the inner city. These are considered suburbs, really, of the uh, Las Vegas metro. Certainly outside of Las Vegas city limits. It's Las Vegas proper. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. If we get up to over a thousand subscribers, YouTube will monetize the channel. We can use that to send our son to college. It's totally free to you. No cost to you whatsoever. We also throw these up on TikTok. So uh, if you're seeing this on TikTok and you like what you see, please like and follow us. We'll be doing more videos from all over Las Vegas, showing you both inside and outside the strip glitz and the glamour, and the not so glitzy and glamorous. Some of these older neighborhoods here, and this truck that just pulled out in front of me. We're gonna go ahead and go around him. He's got some heavy equipment in the back there. I really don't wanna be a victim of something flying out of there when he hits a bump. We're gonna go ahead and make a right here on Christie Lane and go north from Stewart. It's an elementary school there. Is uh, Richard Rundle Elementary School. School's still out for the next couple of weeks, I believe. Set to resume in uh, early August. Current temperature right now, the car, the car says it's 105, but I think that's a little bit low. Might be uh, working its way up higher. Roads are in really bad shape, really rough shape over here. No HOAs over here, so you have a lot of on street parking and uh, RVs parked on the streets as well. And this is outside Las Vegas city limits, so it's really up to Clark County to come out here and uh, take care of some of the zoning violations. There's a boarded off home there on the corner of Christie and Bonanza. Looks like there's an RV. Well, maybe that's next to it. Or behind it. The house behind it there. We, we do make uh, little versions of these. Take these larger vi uh, videos and dissect them into what are called shorts on YouTube. YouTube's answer to TikTok. And if you're catching this in the middle of one of these shorts on YouTube, please do um, take a look at some of the other films that we have on our channel. Those will, those will include the longer versions of these videos. See up on the right there, the uh, stadium lights for uh, El Dorado High School. Horrific crime committed against a teacher there a year before last. I'll let you Google it if you're interested. And we have our East Side Public Library located right over there. And there's the football field for El Dorado High School. And some empty rock hauling trailers it looks like there on the side of the road. Coming up on the stop sign here with Washington Avenue, street side vendor there selling fruta picada, fresh fruits. We have a lot of these over here with their uh, multicolored umbrellas. Sidewalk stands like this. Not too many of them on the west side of town now. Out in Summerlin. Big dump. 
dumpsters out here on the sides of the road. These are for, uh, I think these, these dumpsters have been here for these homes for a long time now. But no requirement to hide them behind a wall or a fence of any sort. Some construction up here it appears as we approach Owens. There's a semi parked right there. Looks like they're doing some sort of manhole work there. Look at some of these homes here at Owens and Christie Lane here in East Las Vegas. There's some of the homes right there on Owens. Empty lot there with a Cash for Cars banner. Very rough shape this road is in. Just a quick reminder, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. If we get up to over a thousand subscribers, YouTube will monetize the channel. We can use that to send our son to college. It's totally free to you, no cost whatsoever. So please do like and subscribe if you like what you see. And if not, please leave a comment and let us know what, uh, what you'd like to see, what we can do better. We want to know what uh, we can do better. There's a uh, former elementary school. Looks like they might be rebuilding it. They just demolished it. And we're approaching the light here at Lake Mead Boulevard, which is a major east-west artery. Runs all the way out past the west end of 215. This is a rough little patch of road right here. Show you here on the uh, corner, we got Gabby's Clothing, and then we got over here, we got the La Paloma Meat Market, Rosie's Salon of Beauty, Discount Market, and TV Repair. Uh, and also, Lake Mead, we're going to do that a little later in this video, it goes out to the east end, and it'll actually take, uh, take you out to Lake Mead itself. We're not going to head all the way out to Lake Mead, but uh, we are going to go east of um, Hollywood Boulevard on Lake Mead to show you. Take a look at that. See some of these apartments over here, right on Lake Mead Boulevard. We're going to go up here to Judson, J-U-D-S-O-N, and we're going to make a right on Judson. So show you some of that neighborhood up here. As we pass by Rosie's Salon of Beauty. Now the car's staying at 110 degrees Fahrenheit. Not quite sure what the conversion is. I'd have to look it up over to Celsius. But very hot. There are clouds out there kind of circling the valley around the city here, but none directly overhead, certainly nothing that would provide any kind of relief. We're going to make the right here onto Judson as an individual. A couple of old vehicles there, old Corvette being worked on it looks like, as well as an old Camaro. Going to go right on to Castleberry here. I'll show you some of what Castleberry has to show. Old homes, older homes at least. See some of the homes here. Some old box trucks parked there in someone's yard. Judson. There's a little dead end street there. As we focus on more of the neighborhood up here. And again, we do dissect these videos into smaller versions called shorts on YouTube, which is YouTube's answer to TikTok. So if you're catching this on TikTok um, or, or YouTube as a short, please uh, do take a look at our YouTube channel. We will um, post videos 
the longer version of these videos up on YouTube under our channel. You can see some more of the neighborhood here on Judson. A lot of power tools sitting out in that in front of that house over there, as well as some yard decorations that looks like a former fire station there turned into something looks like it has the Las Vegas Raiders logo or some version of it on the uh, outside there. This is Raymond Lane here. These look like trailers, mobile homes. And there's a community center. I believe it's the Robert Price Community Center. Let's see more of these streets here. And this is the stop sign at Sloan. So we're gonna go ahead and stop here, show you more what we can up that way. And we're gonna go ahead and go through and over this wash, one of many washes here in Las Vegas where the rain water collects after uh, dousing from the, from the skies. This road is Toyabi. Toyabi is weird, it has uh, four lanes, but um, it really, it's, it only lasts for like maybe a half mile, so it's really kind of odd that it's a four lane road there. I'm gonna continue east here. You can see some of these uh, neighborhoods here. These are trailers on Jetson here. stuff in that guy's yard there. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. If we get up to over a thousand subscribers, YouTube will monetize the channel. We can use that to send our son to college. We also post these up on TikTok. If you are on TikTok and you're seeing this, please do like and follow us if you like what you see. We really appreciate it and we appreciate all of you who have already joined and those who continue to watch us as we continue to make these videos. Basketball hoop set up there on the street. A little too hot to play outside right now. Looks like a boarded up second floor there. No trespassing, beware of dog. These roads are not in the best shape either. And we're coming up to Mount Hood Street here, which is a probably a very inappropriately named street. Of course, I know that's not what they named it for, but that's okay. We're going to make this left here. And we're going to make an immediate right onto Cary, C-A-R-E-Y. up there. Over that way is the uh, our Frenchman's and Sunrise Mountain. Frenchman's is the one on the right. Sunrise Mountain is the one on the left. Some newer looking homes here on the left side. They have the ACs built into the roofs here on the right side, so those are likely some older homes there. And we're going to come up here to Hollywood Boulevard and make a left. And there's an elementary school right there on the corner. Fifth largest school district here in the country, according to the paper, located here in Clark County. But they use a lot of substitutes when they don't have enough full-time licensed teaching staff, so take that for what it's worth. They're building new homes out here right up against what is Nellis Air Force Base out in the distance there. And we're going to come up to that in a moment. And it does get very noisy out here at Nellis Air Force Base especially when they do their red flag exercises and have squadrons come in from all over the place. You can see their brand new homes right there, the Dalton. 
and dead ahead is Nellis Air Force Base. We see a few jets parked out there right now. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Right there. And we'll zoom back out. They look too large to be, say, F-35s. There goes an F-35 taking off right now, as a matter of fact. Into the northeast. EDC, when they have EDC out here, they uh, use this road and uh, open up this south gate here. Let's see if I can get in closer. Zoom in closer, sorry about that. Here at Nellis, Air Force Base. They open up this south gate here and they uh, let the buses come in. There's another one taking off. Looks like they're running sorties. Um, they open up the south gate here at Nellis Air Force Base to let the buses through and they go all the way through over to the Speedway, which is out in the distance there. I'm not sure if I'm getting it, but it is right out there on the north side of Nellis where, in fact, Hollywood Boulevard picks up again. So we're going to zoom out and uh, make a U-turn. But this is Nellis Air Force Base. Again, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. If we get up to over a thousand subscribers on YouTube, YouTube will monetize the channel and we can uh, use that to send our son to college. We see a fire out there in the distance. Not sure what that is. Or what that uh, is coming from. We also post these up on TikTok, so if you're seeing this on TikTok, please like and follow us so that we can uh, continue making more of these videos and bringing them to you. We're heading back south now on Hollywood Boulevard. We're in the extreme northeast of Las Vegas. And you're here in Clark County. Clark County itself is huge. We have Laughlin down about 100 miles south of here. And then Mesquite, which is about 90 miles northeast of here. So that's about 200 miles right there of Clark County, and then east-west, I'm not exactly sure what the mileage is east to west. And these newer homes here that have no yards, zero lot line homes, brand new, with a view out over the west. They might have views of the Las Vegas Strip, I'm not sure. They can see up over the tree line there. road called Sprinkle Avenue. And again, we do dissect these videos and create little YouTube shorts with them. If you're seeing this as one of the uh, YouTube shorts, we do post the larger version, the longer version of these videos up on YouTube. Please feel free to check them out. Turn them on for background noise on your Roku TV while you're uh, cleaning the house or maybe fixing the car. Just need some background noise and uh, don't care for the radio at this particular time or that particular time. I'm gonna make a left here on Cary again, C A R E Y. And show you some more of the neighborhoods up here. They do get a lot of calls for service in this one particular area we're about to visit, which is Los Feliz. The Happy, I think, would be the direct translation, but. Forgive me if I'm wrong. It's an old Camaro parked in someone's lawn there. Looks like an old Camaro RS. And this is the back of Sunrise Mountain High School here. And again, they do get a lot of calls for service up here. Here at Sierra Sunrise, it's called. These buildings. You can see a lot of trash out here at the perimeter of the buildings. And we're going to make a right here on the Los Feliz for just a moment. They do, um, they have illegal street races out here at night and on the weekends. 
and you can probably understand why, though it is illegal, and I'm not saying there's anything wrong or anything right with it, but um, it's pretty desolate out here, and the uh, high school's right there. But I know that they do have problems with the, with the street racers out here. I don't want them injuring themselves or anyone else, and that is a, a laudable goal. And I see directly ahead there, and I'm gonna try and zoom. There we go. That is the grandstand for the Las Vegas Speedway. And in fact, there's an F-35 taking off right above it um, at this moment. And again, that's northeast of town. That's northeast of Nellis Air Force Base as well. So, uh, just wanted to point that out. Make a U-turn here. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. We get up to over a thousand subscribers. YouTube will monetize the channel and we can use that to send our son to college. It's totally free to you, no cost whatsoever. And uh, also on TikTok. If you're seeing this on TikTok, please like and follow us if you like what you see. And if not, please leave comments. Let me know what we can do better. We want to improve. We can make this better for you. Let me see some more homes. Lining Cary here, C-A-R-E-Y. We're gonna go more down Los Feliz here. As we approach back towards uh, Lake Mead Boulevard, see some of these homes. Look older homes, look like older homes. Well, a lot of them have sink car garages. Sunrise Terrace there, the sign says. there here on Los Feliz where again they do get a lot of calls for service from uh, the police department we're gonna make a left here and just uh, point out real quick there's the view of uh, the strip there we're going to make a left here and we're going to go up towards the summit here here on Lake Mead East where it approaches uh, Lake Mead itself, following a rock hauling truck here. There's a quarry up here. There's a lot of them that come in and out of there, hauling rocks. They're on Amona. That's the name of that street there. Speed limit increases here to 55, no target shooting. I believe this on the right right here at this interpretive site is also the trailhead for a uh, trail up to Sunrise Mountain. Brown mountains, very brown. Not much is green here in Vegas other than the weeds. And we do get quite a few weeds in here because of the uh, Human activity, watering plants and lawns, things like that. And that, of course, attracts the weeds. Heading east here on Lake Mead and climbing. And we're doing this because we want to turn around up here once we get past the summit. And we want to show you a view of the whole city as I believe it was seen in the movie The Hangover 3. And the guys are coming back into town towards the end of the movie and they show an establishing shot with the entire city at night. An abandoned car there on the right. Or on the right, right side of the other side of the road. I guess that would be to my left. driving these mountain roads. They're a lot of fun. And they certainly keep you awake. There's also a gypsum mine out here somewhere. They mine gypsum and other materials. So now we're descending, so I'm gonna go ahead and maybe you turn and head back towards into the city show you the view that I was speaking of. Oh, I feel
you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. If we get up to over a thousand subscribers, YouTube will monetize the channel. We can use that to send our son to college. Totally free to you, no cost. And uh, if you're seeing this on TikTok, please like and follow us. And if you don't like what you see, please let us know. Leave a comment, both on TikTok and YouTube. Let us know what you would like to see. Or let us know what we can do better. How can we improve? And now we should be coming up towards that scene that was established in The Hangover 3. Only it was at night, but it's still just as breathtaking during the day. In my humble opinion. You can see the stratosphere there in the distance. The back of Sunrise Mountain. blending of nature and humanity, the creations of both coming together. Downtown Fremont is directly ahead, and then you have the strip over there to the left, extending south. Let's see if we can zoom in here, look at downtown for a moment. Here we go. You can see Lake Mead as it extends all the way out west to the other side of the valley. Las Vegas is, of course, really kind of a big cereal bowl, sitting in the middle of a whole bunch of mountains. So, uh, most of these roads will just extend from one end of the valley to the other. Again, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. If we get up to over a thousand subscribers, YouTube will monetize your channel and we can use that to send our son to college. Totally free to you and uh, no cost to you. TikTok, same thing. Um, and please like and follow us. We do turn these, uh, dissect and splice these versions of these videos into, uh, actually we're going to take a look out there at Nellis Air Force Base, I'll show you the, bird, the uh, view from up here, while we descend down into the city again. Please do like us and follow us on t uh, TikTok if, you, uh, if you're seeing this on TikTok. We're going to make a left here onto the other side of Los Feliz, sign there on the right saying, well, entering Sunrise Mount Manor. Looks like they're painting the pedestrian crossing here. We're going to go ahead and uh, assume that this is dry. Maybe just position the car. Anyway. Again, a lot of calls for service out here in this area. It actually looks kind of nice, but judging from what I've seen online, tends to be a lot of reports of crimes. And there's an interesting shot of Frenchman's on the right, Frenchman Mountain Peak, and Sunrise Mountain on the left, and a neighborhood called City Lights. As we come up here, atop this hill, Another good shot of the whole city behind this empty lot that borders Los Feliz here. And just because we love views and we hope you do too, we're going to go ahead and make a left here onto Owens, even though it says no outlet, because there's another really great place to view the entire panoramic, almost panoramic, Las Vegas Strip. Right here at the end of Owens, the eastern end of Owens. As we go up this hill, and that is of course Sunrise Mountain right there, dead ahead. Going virtually straight up here. This is a good incline. caves up there in the mountain. There was a story of a woman who lived up in a cave in that mountain somewhere at one time. Not sure if there was any truth to that. 
urban legend or otherwise. And this neighborhood here we are unable to get into because it is gated. And so we're going to go ahead and just slowly circle around and show you the entire, this is looking northwest, out towards where US, I know, US 95, Highway 95, goes off towards um, Reno, 450 miles away. There's looking directly west and uh, Lake Mead Boulevard right there in the view. And we're going to restricted area, no trespassing. Respect their rules here, of course, always. Nice homes up here at Barrow Canyon. And then take a look at this view. This is just magnificent. That is all of Las Vegas. And the tower out at the airport, I'm not sure if that's coming in as well, but that's out there. And then coming back over here to the strip, just breathtaking. Absolutely beautiful. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. If we get up to over a thousand subscribers, YouTube will monetize the channel. We can use that to pay for our son's college tuition. There's the downtown in the Circa. It is totally free to you to subscribe. And also on TikTok, please like and follow us on TikTok. And let us know if there's something that we're not doing that we should be doing and we can do better. We really appreciate all your feedback and input, as well as those of you who have subscribed already. Thank you all. And we're going to zoom back out now. And this is just going straight back down. I'm not even going to uh, touch the brake pedal. I'm sorry, the gas pedal. There's no need to touch the uh, gas pedal going down here. 30 miles an hour. It's 117 degrees, or at least the car says out there right now. 40 to 40 miles an hour, and we're going to hit the brake because we don't want to bottom out. Some empty lots here. More newer homes up here to the right. Pretty much the big first major east uh, north south artery here on the east side of town. There is really nothing east of Hollywood that uh, can take you north and south. And we do, of course, dissect these videos, splice them, and uh, put them into YouTube Shorts. So the longer version of those videos is available under our YouTube channel, so please feel free to check out the longer versions of our videos if you're watching us on YouTube, on your Roku TV, and you want a little background noise, feel free to uh, listen to us while we explore Las Vegas with you, the glamorous and not so glamorous sides. We have videos of our time down the Venetian a couple weekends ago few weekends ago, um, the Venetian is now going to be charging for parking, as well as the Palazzo, its sister property next door. They say at the end of summer, so there's very few properties down on the Strip that uh, offer free parking, even to guests, even to hotel guests anymore. There's very few of them anymore. Everything in Vegas costs money. No such thing as a $5.99 steak and lobster dinner anymore. The car still reads 117 degrees Fahrenheit. Of course the weatherman says that's because the thermos store, which is the thermometer on the car, but it's called a thermos store, is located close to the ground at the front end of the car and of course it picks up a lot of heat off the pavement. So that temperature is not accurate because of the heat coming up from the pavement. Whether that's true or not, or how, how true that is, I have no idea. I'm not a scientist. 
I just know what I see. Based on empirical evidence. This is the Light of Bonanza, another east-west artery for the most part all the way through the east town, east side of town and then it uh, it ends down at, um, I want to say, was it Martin Luther King Boulevard or is it Valley View down there, just west of the Interstate 15. Looks like they're rebuilding a house there or maybe renovating it. Nicer homes here on the right side. It's an unusual home there. And we're going to go ahead and switch it off now. Thanks so much for joining, everyone. We really appreciate you taking the time to view us. And again, please like and subscribe on YouTube. We really, really appreciate it. And uh, another roadside vendor selling fruit juice. And with that, we'll sign off. Thanks again, everyone. We'll see you soon.